Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode four of the Underdog Challenge in Motorsport Manager. Um, last episode, we had a bit of a stinker. We had a race that we would rather forget. Um, we didn't end last, but we got very close to it. I think we ended 18th and 19th, uh, only because someone else retired. We made a bit of a mistake with Price here, who we... Um, put on slicks when rain was coming. So that was a rookie mistake. But um, anyway, the Milan track, we wouldn't have done so well in, I'm pretty sure. Um, Italy is always a hard track early on because you just don't have the engine power required to make uh, to get a good finish. So regardless, I don't think we lost out on too much besides some points, um, but it was definitely a mistake. Um, but that is the way it is. Let's move on from that. Uh, apparently, there's two recruits I didn't get rid of yet. You're both not good, so let's not take you. And let's have a quick look at our pit crew. I think I did do the uh, switches already, so that's fine. Yeah, we don't really, even though you have a one, which is obviously horrible, we can't really switch you out, but that's okay. All right. Um... I think our car is still being repaired and we still don't want to buy any parts. We are working towards the level two factory. We could already go in debt um, and we might actually because I don't think it'll matter much and then at least I can show it off. So let's just do it. It'll be fun. Um, yeah, let's do it. We are going to be buying the level two factory, which as you can see allows us to get the telemetry center, the test track. Uh, breaks R&D facility and uh, we get 50% towards unlocking the tour center and the helipad. Um, the other 50% we have to earn by buying the level 2 um, design facility. But uh, factory is way more important at the start uh, because you also get the plus 10 development staff which helps you with perform uh, performance and reliability upgrades. Um, and we get some extra improvement slots going from 2 to 4 which is... Very good. Uh, plus, our factory will look a little bit nicer than it did before, so that's always nice too. Um, we are going a little bit into depth, as you can tell. Um, we are saving 400,000 of the original 8 million uh, asking price. So like I said at the very start of the series, that is why we chose the financial background to save us that little bit of extra money. And we just went into debt. And I'm sure our CEO will very quickly let us know that we did that. First, the car got finished, which is nice. And let's make sure we work on our engine. Yeah, we are. So that's all great. And then we just keep going again. Um, we're still not actually getting an angry CEO. That's interesting. Is he not at least? No, nothing. Okay, interesting. <laughs> Thought he would actually get pretty angry pretty quick. It doesn't matter much because next race will be out of the red for sure again. As you can see, we'll get about 1.2 million pre um, bonus. So if we manage to get the bonus, even better, of course. But regardless, we will be out of the red soon enough. And it saves us about two, three weeks probably of um, build time, which is nice. Okay. I think our reliability work is pretty much complete. Yeah, we're at 98, 98. That's good enough. Um, let's work a little bit also on the gearboxes because those are also pretty annoying if they break. Uh, and as always, yeah, definitely all the stuff towards reliability. Performance can be nice, of course, to improve. But yeah, frankly, it's nicer to have cars that can actually finish a race without uh, breaking down. <laughs> uh, that... Probably has gotten us more points up until, up until this point than last time. All right, then Tondela, which will be in Portugal. Uh, it will be a 32 lap race, um, not a very long track. And on the weather front, it looks to be dry with a 10% chance of rain. Now, after last week's debacle um, or the last race's debacle, we definitely want to keep an eye on the weather. 10% um, chance is still a chance and I don't want to repeat of what we did to Scott Price last time, but let's see how that goes. Um, and you as lead designer want us to 
Invest in a better ride and handling facility. Yeah, that's that would be great to improve our suspension, but it's not first priority. And we're not even allowed to build it right now, so it doesn't matter much. Let's just keep going. Yeah, oh, there he is, finally. Financial management concerns. I'm extremely concerned about the status of the team's finances. There is still a long way to go this season, and the coffers aren't looking healthy. You need to make the money last. I hope this won't impact your performance in the final few races. I am sure it will not because we just actually made a huge upgrade that is going to pay us dividends in the future. As you can see, <coughs> we've already covered about three weeks, which is great. Um, we could have definitely done this sooner. We could have just done it basically immediately as soon as we started the game. Um, that might be a tip. If, if you start yourself and you think you won't make your, um, your chairman too angry, then just do it because... Honestly, why not? Uh, and he won't fire you over it immediately. Just make sure you're not in the debt for too, too long. Um, let's have a quick look. Are all our sponsors still there? Yes. Uh, one will drop off soon, which is nice. And then the next few will drop off in three and four races. Okay. That is all looking fine. Our car is looking good too. We actually have some a very good engine now, a very good gearbox. Not in terms of performance. Obviously, we are still pretty much dead last everywhere. Yep. But in terms of reliability, we are good to go. And that also means now with the engine being uh, pretty much at 100%, we will actually be able to um, um, to run the engines on overtake mode or at least orange mode for much longer, which is nice. Uh, we're still going for the 10th spot, just like last time. Um, I think that'll already be... A hard enough finish looking also at our previous finishes so let's just go for gustavo cruises and we don't need to change anything about the cars because well they are looking fine already let's get into portugal a nice little uh bendy track with a nice flag in it and it's looking quite nice as well it's a bit of a yeah i don't know a transport dock or something it's not a dock because there's no water but definitely a lot of trucks at least um that might just be from all the teams i suppose all right a beautiful sunny day during practice as always we'll pick kinney and lanaris for their feedback skills because price has horrible feedback doesn't know how to communicate back to us uh and looking at the tires we are getting super soft and soft now with a 32 lap race, we can make the softs work if we don't push them too hard. Uh, that means we'll be practicing on softs because our drivers are not good enough to make super softs last. Um, I think even, yeah, even one uh, one time using the super softs, we'll make sure that we have to do three stops instead of two. So we don't want that. We'll just be using uh, regular softs, especially with no rain predicted. That should be okay. Um, we should still put your car in a proper setup, of course. Let's put your downforce right on the edge. Same for handling, right around the edge. And same for gear ratios, also right around the edge. And let's see what that does. And then for you, Kinney, same thing, right around the edge. Your downforce is pretty much exactly the opposite of Lanaris, somehow. Even though you drive the same cars, pretty much. Um, yeah, you're a little bit better at supers, but still, we can't make this work. We could make one stint of supers work, probably, for you. And then do the others on softs. But I'd rather just do all uh, everything on softs and then maybe run them a bit more aggressively if necessary. Um, because if we do super softs, I, I don't think it'll... Anyway, we are going for the long, long haul. Slow and steady wins the race instead of fighting on supers immediately and then hoping for the best. Uh, we might at the very end do a stint of, uh, on supers for Kinney or Lanaris, or maybe both. Well, I guess in the race it'll be Price instead of Lanaris. But um, yeah, not yet. Uh, and anyway, if they're gonna run most of the race on softs, then we want the bonus on the softs, of course, instead of the supers. Um, you are looking poor, great poor. Okay. Not too bad, but we should definitely change you up a little bit probably around here let's say and same for your speed balance let's get that to around here and your handling should stay as is 
And you are good, good, great. That is a nice start. Let's put you up a little bit more. Let's say around here. And your handling right there. And your speed balance can just stay the way it is. There you go. Let's see how that does. And bring you back in immediately after again, of course, as always. Just do one quick lap and then uh, send them out again. See what their results were. Excellent, excellent, great. That is good enough for me. We're not going to be messing with that anymore. And let's just let you get all the knowledge you can. And for you, okay, great, great. That is not so good, actually. Um, we went from there to... Yeah, okay. We. Oh, okay. We actually went the wrong way. <laughs> Means we should be right around here, probably. A bit to the left. Maybe a bit more, even, actually. Let's see what this does. Yeah, that should be right around okay. Uh, excellent. And for you, uh, let's just keep you around great. That's good enough. Shoop. Oh, shoop. There you go. That's good enough for me. And probably this will already get you a very good result. We'll just send you out also. And get as much knowledge as we can. Because every time you bring them in, it costs valuable time of gaining that knowledge that we want. So... Yeah, you could go for that little bit more of uh, a little bit more of yeah the setup rating, but I think this is fine. See, at least I would very much like level two, and three is probably not possible with the skills of our drivers, unfortunately. Um, yeah, as you can see, we are not doing too great in terms of times, but we did also give them a lot of fuel. That's definitely going to make them a lot slower. That should at least cost like. A full second and a half or something, I think. If we have, let's say, like, almost nine laps worth more of fuel than the rest. Or at least six. So that should cost, like, 0 0.8 sec seconds or something. I think normally it's, like, 0 0.15 seconds per lap of fuel that you carry. Uh, that's how much lap time it costs you. I'm not sure about that. We can see it during the race, I think. Uh, yeah, got it by our performance. I, well... You've been a fan of this team for a while, probably. You know what they're capable of. You shouldn't be gutted by this result, but... Let's see what we can do anyway. We are not starting on the super softs, that is for sure. Unless there's rain, expect it. Nope. Okay, then we are obviously switching back to... Softs. Yeah, so we can last them for around 11 to 13... Yeah, on a, on a 32 session length lap, maybe we can do the last stint on supers, but... Yeah, honestly, the performance or the speed bonus isn't even that much. I mean, it will be in-game, of course, but... Yeah, see here? Well, one lap of fuel costs about 0 0.14 seconds. So if you count that probably most people practiced for... With three laps of fuel, we, we were obviously always going to be a bit slower, but still, we were a lot slower. <laughs> um, yeah, and you also on soft. Got some great setup, so that's always good. And let's put you on red red for the first little bit to see if we can keep some positions. Uh, Scott, you start in first because you did horrible last race. Um, and you start in sixth. That is also fine. Um, and let's get racing. Five lights are on in Portugal and we are off with a horrible start for Price. Immediately got overtaken. Kenny actually gained a position, I believe. Nope, he's losing now too. Oh my god, Price, what did you do? I just carried a bit too much speed there and ran wide. That is... What are you doing? You lost seven positions in two corners. Wow. You're actually going to get overtaken by Kinney at this rate. That is beyond awful. Good job, Price. Wow. All right, well, we know who not to keep once we're actually challenging for the top spot. <laughs> Um, both Kinney and Price are, of course, not great drivers, but they are financially a great choice, so that is why we keep them. Um, how are you both looking? Pretty much the exact same stats. Let's drop you then down, uh, because Kinney is apparently doing way better than you in this race, so let's put you down to uh, a regular, and let's put you down to 
We can we can keep you on overtake for a while, but we'll, I want to preserve their tires for a little bit, if possible. Um, I think we're gonna go faster through the tires than through the fuel, so let's keep them on red and let's keep you on yellow for a little bit, because I want uh, there to be one lap of fuel differential between the two. Kenny is actually oh crash, but yeah, yellow flag, but no actual uh, no actual. Safety car, unfortunately. Where did you cry? Oh, you're already in the pit stop. Fuck. Okay. They got you back. Shame. I would have loved to see uh, that crash. But, well, that sounded very wrong, but it would be a bit exciting, right? Um, let's also start putting you on neutral for your tires. I really don't want to have to go to conserve for too long. Yeah, you, can, <laughs> you can't get past Antonov. Oh. I think it's more who can't get past you at this point, that's Calva Kanti. Price is having a stinker of a race, despite having pretty much the same car as Kinney. Kinney is holding up to 7th here, and Price is just doing horrible. I don't even know why, because your driver form is actually better than Kinney. Very interesting. Hmm. Uh, well, we have been giving her a little bit more power, of course, but still. Seems like a huge difference. Uh, your tie oh, Wow, your engine is still great. That's good. Um, I think we might run them both on red for a little while, actually, soon. Because... Well, maybe not. Maybe we put them both on orange for a little while. We'll, we'll check in one lap exactly how much fuel we have left and how long we want our tires to last. Um, put your tires to conserve for a little bit. And same for you, actually. We need also for there to be a little bit of a differential in the tires preferably it's not exactly needed but it would be nice all right let's have a quick look you were on lap five right yeah um we have seven laps of fuel left are we gonna last for another seven laps of these tires probably not maybe six would six be enough yeah i think so all right, so let's let's run on red for a little bit longer with Kinney, and then we'll bring it back to uh, orange probably soon. You actually need to run for quite a while on conserve in order to let these tires uh, last for the amount of fuel we have for you. So let's put you on orange. Start also burning a bit more fuel on you. I think that would be better. Um, I would really love to keep Kinney a little bit up in the fight here hold some people up but yeah everyone is <laughs> really pushing her um, probably that's also due to the green uh, tire situation at uh, the conserving that we have her on but actually we kind of need to keep her on that otherwise she's gonna turn through these tires way too quick can't get it into the heated that is going to happen soon probably it's a bit of a shame keep you like this that's okay for now i think put you on red again and let's put you down to orange if we can last for another five laps that would be nice so you should be able to do oh sorry four laps i think yeah i think four laps from now is okay that is sort of one third of the race not really but sort of all right looking okay yeah, really, those tires are... Yep, there you go. Tire temp is really high. It's not great, but that's what it is. Put you also to orange. Um, I think we're going to end with five laps for you. So then you're going to end with about half a tank and four laps for you. That means you pretty much are going to end with zero fuel. I think both of those situations are fine. Um means we just need four laps on your tires and five on yours. I think we should manage that. Yeah, that should be okay. All right, let's keep going then for a little while. And we are eight, dead last and dead last. But that's okay either way. You probably pitted. Yeah, Chu and Dembele already pitted the supers. If they're running supers twice, they might have to do a three-stopper here, to be honest. Because they already pitted after seven laps. Yeah, that's probably a two-stop. Or uh, a three stop, I mean. Huh. Okay. We might be able to make something work then, at least, if the AI 
teams decide to do that. Uh, let's put you a little bit back to yellow, get you to defend a bit. And you can probably also go in yellow now. I think that's fine. Uh, lots of people pitting now. All going to supers. Hmm. I'm not sure they can make that work for another... With only one more stop to go. Maybe if they go to mediums at the end. No, not really. If they, if they again, last only like eight laps, they're going to have to come in around lap 17. That's not going to work for them, I think. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's see what happens. Um, two more laps. Well, one and a half more laps for Kinney. Two and a half lap more laps for Price. That's okay. I think we can probably run you on red then for the last one. Yeah, let's run you on red. And then we pit you with about, yeah, 0 0.25 left in your fuel tank at the end of this lap, I think. 0 0.15. I can't do math. Perfect. Uh, that's all looking good. Parts are looking good. We do a fast pit stop as always. 22 laps to go after this one. So we give you plenty of fuel to work with. That is all looking good. Um, then for price, what are we going to do with you? We, we do have the possibility of doing two laps. We could try the last lap for you on supers. Sort of try an alternate strategy for Kinney, from Kinney. You are going to get some very bad performance out of these tires soon, though. Because they are getting pretty much destroyed. Um, yeah, that is somewhat concerning. Yeah... Yeah, let's let's just start really churning through these things. I think that's fine. You are already pitting anyway, so let's just have you destroy your tires. Might as well. And there you go. Our first pit stop with Kinney. And let's have a quick look for you, Price. How are you looking at the end of this lap? You have... Yeah, you, you have about half a tank of fuel left. That's okay. And your tires... Let's destroy them. No mistakes for Kinney. That's good. Let's do another stint on the softs. Because we can't make twice super soft work, I don't think. 7, 9. We still have... What do we have to go? 21 laps? No. No, no, no. We're definitely doing one more stint on super... Or on softs. And then we'll, we'll have a look if we can make supers work at the end of it. Depending on how fast we'll need to pit. But uh, not yet. Not yet. Let's run you on orange orange for a bit. I don't want to deal with high tire temperature immediately again. So let's see if this works for a while. We can run you on overtake for a bit of thing. Let's burn some fuel at the start. That's fine. You are just about going to hit your cliff. I think with soft it's around 10%. So we barely managed to avoid that. Great timing for price. And let's see where your pit stop goes. Looking good. Refueling. There you go. It's looking fine. Yeah, I'm gonna bring your tires down pretty much immediately just because it's a very warm truck. Uh, still no rain looking like. That's great. Put you on orange and red also for a bit. And yeah, looking okay so far. Oh, Arbaloa is staying out for one more lap. Interesting. Oh, he's pitting now anyway. Okay, looking good so far. We are definitely way behind, obviously, but that's just down to our bad car. But so far, I don't think we've made any strategic mistakes yet. And I do have some hope that some of these guys, like Chu, Dreyfus, Valdez, even Melo, they are really looking like they'll have to do three pit stops in total instead of two. So maybe there is something we can do there, to be honest. Okay. Put you also on orange. You guys have about one lap of fuel difference. That's all looking good. We might have to conserve your tires soon for a little bit. Because they are getting very hot here in warm, warm Portugal. But let's see what happens. And there, yeah, see? There already goes the second pistol. What are you changing to, Dimbella and Chu? You guys are doing... Again, supers. I guess they're doing their last... Yeah, they, they have to do another pit stop then. They have to do three. So I guess they'll, they'll change to softs on their last one. 
but that is interesting. I'm curious to see if they can make that work, because we only need to do one more pit stop. Well, they also have to do that same pit stop, but at the same time as us. They're still ahead of us, actually, even having done two pit stops, so they'll be fine. That is a shame. <laughs> yeah, we're just that much slower, unfortunately. I think we have to at least bank on trying to get guys like Rogers and overtake them. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, these guys were definitely not beating, but I think they're also up in the better team, so... Kind of makes sense. I think the guys like Valdez, Rogers, who are in the pit stop right now and still not moving, those are the guys we have to try and beat. Yeah, because they're only coming out now and we still both need to pit. And again, they are on supers and they're gonna take catch up to us really quick, probably. Start conserving those tires. You guys are destroying them. Actually, just back off of them for a little bit. Just need to get the tire temperature down a tiny bit. New one conserve, new one conserve. I think that should be good again. They're, they're just barely now not at the top. We're destroying their uh, tires, but yeah, we needed them to get down a tiny bit at least. It's hard to, it's hard with these temperatures, especially when your driver and your car just isn't that good at keeping the temperatures low. Uh, yeah, we already got taken over by Dreyfus and Ja, so that makes sense. It really has to be sort of trying to keep ahead at least of like Mello, Rogers, Odes, but not looking very likely with them on supers, unfortunately. Um, let's see, we're now in lap 18. That means we have 15 laps to go. Yeah, I, th I think we're fine running on orange basically the whole time and then just sort of keeping it on that. Give us a little bit of extra performance, but let's see what happens. Don't want to keep the temperatures too high. Keep keep bringing it back. Unfortunately, that is very much a shame. But let's see if we can do the last stint, maybe on supers, just like everyone else. But I'm not too sure about that. We are losing positions again to the guys that have the better tires, which makes sense. But the guys that are near us right now still will have to pit for another time. For example, Calvacanti. He has to pit for another. He can't make those tires last for 13 more laps. There is no way. So he's behind us right now still. And he has to do a pit stop at the same time. Where we might also go for super soft. But we'll see what happens. Um, Alright. Let's have another look now at our fuel situation. For Kinney, we are at your last lap. So that means we're going to burn through the damn thing. Let's put you on red red. Your tires have lasted for long enough. Let's keep you there. That's fine. And let's do two laps of overtake mode for you. That should also last you pretty much with an empty fuel by the time you need to pit. Okay. And that means for sure for you, I think we just need to do another stint on soft. And let's pick those up then. Um, right? Because we have 11 laps remaining. Yeah, we can't make supers work. Guinea, that is the way it is. Uh, we don't need to fix the front wing, I don't think. Still has enough uh, on there. It doesn't cost much, but... Yeah, with 43%, you should be fine for the last 10 laps, I think. I'm not gonna bother. I know it doesn't cost time technically, but you can still make a mistake while doing that, so... I'd rather not. Uh, we're not gonna put your... Fires up just yet, but we will soon. Yeah, I know. One more lap, buddy. One more lap. First Kenny gets a go. You shouldn't have lost seven spots in two turns if you wanted to pit before her. <laughs> that is uh, completely your own fault, my man. Uh, Alright, yeah. We can start destroying your tires now. Actually, you might not make it on double red. I think. Yeah, barely. Actually, can you? So let you run on orange for a little bit, and then see. It's actually, those tires dying very quick. Um, do you make that? 0 0.2. All right, well, I'll take it. <laughs> and what do we need to run on? Yeah, if we want to run overtake for the rest of the race, we need about 13 laps of fuel. 
And our engine is looking fine enough to do that still, so I think that's okay. You... Yeah, you should make it on those tires. That's fine, I think. And for you, let's run you on neutral. You don't want to put those tires into the dead zone already. And uh, run you on overtake. I think your engine can take it, so yeah. Let's try and make up some time here. And get as close as possible to the people that still might need to pit. I think Chu actually did a very early third pit stop. That is interesting. I'll have a look uh, in a bit. See what he did. I think he went to softs already very quickly. And now he's just going to run the rest of the race out on soft. Which is a mistake. But just because their car is so much better. It just doesn't matter. <laughs> they, yeah. Here is where you really start noticing that despite even doing a, I think, fine tactic. I don't think we messed much up to begin with, at least. There just was never going to be that much uh, of a chance for us to do much. We could have maybe also tried the super soft strategy, but yeah, I don't think it would have saved us, to be honest. Especially with how hot this truck this track ran uh, and how quickly those temperatures went up, we would have had to pretty much run the entire race on conservative or backup even just to, yeah, have three pit stops. That just doesn't seem great to me, to be honest. We did get out ahead of Rogers and Valdez, but whether that'll be enough. They are now on soft, so maybe we can keep them ahead of us. There's about three seconds, two seconds between you. We do have about six seconds on Valdez, so maybe we can keep him ahead for eight laps. We'll have to see. I don't think we're going to be overtaking too many other people. You probably need to pit still, but with 20 seconds, unless you need to repair a part. I don't think that's going to matter too much. And they're probably going to go to super softs anyway. And then they'll just overtake us immediately again. So it doesn't matter too much. Let's run on red red for a while. Or sorry, uh, red on both the engines. But keep the tires as is. Might eventually need to start conserving again on Kinney. Yeah, on these hot tracks with the uh, tracks churning through your tires. There's just not much you can do with uh, tire wear. Normally, you know, it's it's nice when you have a cold track and you can just push as hard as you can uh, on a lot of these tires. But in this case, just almost no chance to do so. Uh, Price already got overtaken by Valdez and we seem to have lost about half or a full second, I think, with Kinney. So, not sure that's going to work then for us. With the amount of laps we still have to go, um, Rogers is also already on our heels. Anyway, we are not getting the sponsor objectives, so that uh, it doesn't matter so much, but of course we want to do as well as we can. Let's run a bit quick here. Our temperature looking okay still. You are fighting, so I'd like to not bring you down yet, but... Oh, looks like Dembele actually needs to repair a part. Depending on what part, that might have a huge impact on his... Uh... Yeah, he's still pitting. Still not moving. Still not moving. That has to be an engine or a gearbox, I think. Yeah, that, that took him so much time. Or her. Yeah. Well, looks like we might finish at least ahead of Dembele. Went for super softs, of course, but four pit stops is uh, a lot. Um, yeah, we, we do need to run you on conserve now. You're getting way too close to the max temperature. Um... I think that's okay. Um, no, it's not. We need to do five more laps. I actually wasn't paying attention too much to our fuel. Oh, I, I I thought I put that back. What did I do? We need to run you on blue now for two laps, looks like. <laughs> Oops, that was a bit of a mistake. I I thought I put it back and then I resumed time and it's we're still on red. We are burning more fuel happily. Um, yeah, that's fine anyway. Uh, let's put you on orange for a while. I think your engine isn't doing too hot anymore. Let's make sure we can ride out this uh, race. And at the very end, we might still be able to use a little bit of fuel. Let's go ahead again a little bit. You are now losing position to Rogers again a little bit because of what we had to do. Put your engines back to normal. Or your tires, I mean. And about one more lap of conservative... Or low engine mode should do the trick. I would like to stay ahead. 
Let's do your medium for a while, and then we could always do the last lap. Oh, you got overtaken anyway. <laughs> Our temp is very high for you. Let's put you on conservative. And let's put you also again on conservative. And now that you got overtaken anyway, let's just go to low engine mode. It feels a little bit like you're uh, mopping while the, the tab is open in the bathroom, but... Yeah, you're fine now with you. Basically, we just have problems after problems. Yep, <laughs> yeah, that, that can also happen. Kind of the front wing comes off, why not? It'll be fine anyway, I think. Um, didn't get so lucky this time with crashes and retirings. Only one person crashed, Marshita. But uh, I think either way, we were never going to get the 10th place there. We just need a better engine or better parts at the very least. And that's not what we got here. But that's okay. Um, at the very least, we'll be out of debt after this race. And we might still pick up a few points. If we can keep, for example, Valdez a little bit behind us still. That would be nice. Let's put your tires back to normal. And hope we can do something with that. Okay. We have to do one more lap after this. We didn't get lapped, so we have to make it last for a little bit. Would you want overtake mode? I think you can handle it again. And your tires should also be fine, to be honest. Even if they're now going through the... Uh, well, let's conserve again a little bit. And same for you. Really need to make them last for a little bit longer. And... Alright, we can run on orange, but we need to wait for a little bit, I think. Alright, let's not do orange. I should be right about okay, I think. And let's start destroying your tires, and we keep your tires on conservative, probably. Right up until the end. If we hit the cliff, we're for sure finishing behind all this, so we might as well just try and keep them off of us regularly. Still on excess fuel, so we don't need to bring you back. And now let's start pushing the tires. Take the last few corners properly. And let's go back to Normal engine mode, we might just about make it. Come on, last bit of power. There you go. Right out of fuel at the end there. The same for you. I think that was just about the maximum we could have gotten out of it. I could have tried one of the two drivers maybe on super soft and do more pits, but I think in the end we still got a few sp places. We finished above Valdez and Dembele. So not too bad. We got a few points at least. I'm Hoping that we at least got like a ninth spot maybe in the constructors. Which might mean that our chairman at least is very happy with us. And maybe someone also did some illegal stuff. We could get lucky there. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, a few points, not many, but that's okay. And we're still in ninth at least. But let's see what we got in that race. Not sure. That depends also how the other drivers did. I don't think Valdez and Dembele are teammates. So if other drivers did much better than us, then uh, anyway, we wouldn't have gotten a very high finish. And yeah, we did come in ninth. That is nice. Maybe we get a little bit out of that still. I'm not sure what, but a little bit of marketability, a little bit of happiness and a unlock with the relationship part of Tom Woodridge. Um, higher engine modes no longer impact condition. That's okay. Not amazing, but good enough, let's say. And uh, of course, no stats were improved because both our drivers just aren't that good. Um, well, we make a little bit of money. That's always nice. And let's get out of the depth from minus 600,000 to plus 600,000. That's a good feeling anyway. Um, not too shabby, I'd say. Um, let's quickly fix our pit crew, as always. And since we have some money to work with, again, let's see if there's someone that is worth it. No, all of you have poor stamina and horrible stats. So get out of my HQ. Um, and let's make sure we fix everyone up. I would love to swap you out just because you're horrible on the tires. Do we have anyone better? Not really. You, I guess. Um, you. 
need someone. I don't know who. Everyone is bad again. Um, well, I, I guess Razor. It's still horrible, but better than nothing. I need to fire you, by the way. You're horrible. Just Well, you have decent mistake chance, I guess. Uh, can we swap you for anyone? Also not really. I guess we just keep you in that spot for a little bit. Alright, well, this will be the way it is then for a little while at least. Um, car condition, as always, fine. We get a interview question. Garuda's Racing Ja had a bit of a disaster in that race, finishing down in 7th. What's your analysis? Um, this is actually an interesting question because you can't improve yourself, I think. But you can do a few things. I think uh, if you pick this one, we'll insult Ja, of course, uh, saying that he's an awful driver and he won't, he won't sign with us, no matter what we try. Uh, this one, uh, well, sort of sucks up to him, and that makes him buttered up, I think, as a trait, which means he will sign with us, um, despite, um, well, obviously being in a better team right now. Garuda's Racing is, I think, fighting for the top, whereas we are way at the bottom. But he will actually uh, uh, talk to us, and if we offer him what he wants, he would actually sign for us because of that trait. But um, I don't care. We already have the drivers we want to stick with for now, and I don't want to spend more money. So that leaves this last option, uh, where we say, looking at Garuda Racing from the outside, their team looks weak. I can't say that to today's results shocked me. And this actually uh, devalues their team marketability, which is hilarious to me. So let's call them weak. And as you can see, Garuda Racing now, that actually cost them 5% in team marketability, which is just really funny to me. It probably doesn't matter too, too much, but it might actually mess up their... Um, their sponsor situation a little bit, um, which would be hilarious. Let's see, have a quick look at their, where are they now? Yeah, in sponsors, they're right now in second. So it, let's say we just just managed to uh, reduce their sponsor level a little bit from four to three or something. We might actually overtake them because of that, which would be hilarious to me. Dramatic race in Tondela ends in Firebird MRT win. Great, good for you. No one's talking about us, of course. Um, and I think that is a good time to end it. Uh, today we achieved at the very least that we started working on our factory level two. We could have started earlier with the uh, by going into depth a bit more, but I like to start a little bit safer and show how you can do it a little bit later. Um, and still go into depth, but not make it matter so much uh, and not be in any danger whatsoever from your chairman. Uh, we still started quite on time. In 16 weeks, we'll have this way ahead uh, of the season finish. So since we've only done about four races now. By the time we are at the end of the season, we'll actually have our level two factory already. We might still be able to crank out a few parts. Um, but the most important thing is that by next season, we would immediately be able to start already with um, a better factory, better engineers that can immediately start working on the uh, reliability of our parts and get us some good results then. Um, yeah, not a great race, but one that was expected again to not be too good for us um as you can see top speed was somewhat important and also acceleration which are both things that we don't have the other cars are of course getting also more reliable i think we gained one spot because uh i think dembele or valdez one of the two had to um repair one of their parts i think the engine um but we can't keep banking on that strategy it really only works very early on in the one first or second race let's say um anyway Thank you very much for watching today. Next episode will run the fifth race of the season and uh, see if we can already start working on some other HQ buildings. We might, I'm not sure yet. Uh, we might also start looking at building our first car parts and try and slowly improve. Not so much to do well this season, but to maybe be a little bit more competitive next season. Um, and that was it for today. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one.